Hello everyone, my name is Michael Torrio and I am an Associate Specialist Solutions Architect here at AWS. I've been at AWS for nearly two years and I specialize in analytics. In this video, I'll show you how you can access OpenSearch dashboards on a domain that is located within a private VPC with and without fine grained access controls enabled. So let's get started. In my previous video, I went over how to create an Amazon OpenSearch service domain. So if you haven't checked it out, feel free to do so. A link will be in the description below. Going into the domain I created and scrolling down until I see cluster configuration, on the right under network, we see that I deployed the domain in three private subnets within a VPC I specified for additional security. Placing a domain in a VPC enables secure communication between OpenSearch service and other services within the VPC. Now scrolling back up and trying to click on the OpenSearch dashboards URL that is provided for me, we see that it will just time out. And so to access OpenSearch dashboards, we'll be using an Nginx server. Nginx is a lightweight, high-performance web server that can also act as a reverse proxy, load balancer, mail proxy, and HTTP cache. In this demo, we'll use Nginx as a reverse proxy to forward requests to an Amazon OpenSearch service domain and provide us access to OpenSearch dashboards. Switching tabs over to the AWS console again, I'll go into the EC2 homepage and click on Launch Instance. From here, I'll give the instance a name, and I'll leave it set to the Amazon Linux 2023 AMI and use a t2.micro instance type. I'll provide a key pair that I already have. Now under network settings, you'll want to select the VPC that you have your domain deployed in. So I'll select that right now, and I'll deploy this in a public subnet so that it has internet access. I'll choose public subnet one. Now here, I'll enable auto assign public IP. And this will be the IP address that I use to access OpenSearch dashboards. I'll create a new security group and call this Nginx server SG, which we'll make changes to later. All right, now everything looks good here. So I'll click on launch instance. And I'll wait for this instance to go into the running state, and then we'll SSH into it. All right, now that my instance is in the running state, I'm going to SSH into it using EC2 Instance Connect. And for your convenience, a repost article with the commands and configuration files that I used will be in the description below. Now for the first command, we're going to install Nginx on this instance. All right, now that is complete, we're going to want to make changes to the Nginx configuration file, and I'll do that by using Vim. With the configuration file open, I'll scroll to the bottom. Now here at the bottom of the file, I'll enter in a new server, and under proxy pass, I'll enter in my OpenSearch domain endpoint. And since I didn't copy it earlier, I'll go into the OpenSearch service dashboard. Into the domain I created, and copy the domain endpoint here on the right. And then under proxy pass, I can insert that in. And be sure to include the entire endpoint, including HTTPS, or else you might get an invalid URL prefix error message. Now that's complete, I can write these changes to the file and quit Vim, and then run a command to start Nginx on this instance. All right, now that my Nginx server is up and running, I can go back into the EC2 instance, copy this public IP address, and insert it into a new tab using HTTP along with a slash underscore dashboards, and I should be able to get in. 
But as you can see, it is still timing out because we need to make some changes to both the open search security group and to the Nginx server security group. So going back into the EC2 page and into security groups. And from here, first we'll make changes to the open search security group. So I'll click into it, edit inbound rules, and add a new inbound rule of type HTTPS only from the Nginx server. And this is the security group that I created along with creating the instance. I'll save these rules and then I'll edit the Nginx server security group. Here I'll edit the inbound rules, but this time I'll only specify the HTTP type because when configuring the open search service domain, I did not uh, enable fine grained access control, but I will for a later portion of this demo. And then for the source, I will select my IP address and then click save. Now, if I go to that new tab from earlier and click on refresh, we see that I now have access to open search dashboards. Now let's see how we can access a domain that has fine grain access control enabled using the same Nginx server. So first we need to go into the open search dashboard, into the domain, and under actions here on the right, we'll edit the security configuration and enable fine grain access control. And for the master user, I'll create one. And by enabling fine grain access control, all of these options here under encryption are automatically enabled, which requires HTTPS, node to node encryption, and encryption at rest. I'll save these changes. And I'll wait for these modifications to finish. All right, my domain is now active which means fine grain access control is now enabled on this domain. And if I go on a new tab and try to access the same URL, which was working earlier to access open search dashboards, we see that it times out. Yep. And if I try to access the same link using HTTPS, which is a requirement of enabling fine grain access control, it also times out because the Nginx server we created does not have an SSL certificate attached to it, which we will do right now. So from here, I'll go back into the open search dashboard and open the EC2 dashboard in a different tab. From here, I'll SSH into the EC2 instance again. And for the first command, what we will want to do is include an SSL or TLS certificate. And to create an SSL certificate, we can run the following command. From here, I'll complete all of the steps to complete the request. Note that the SSL certificate we generated is only valid for one year. To continue to use this solution after the certificate expires, delete the existing certificate and create a new one. So now that is complete, we'll need to update the Nginx configuration file. And we'll replace this server configuration with the one that has an SSL certificate attached, pointing to the location where we ran the previous command. So I'll paste in the new server configuration here. Keep in mind the same thing applies. Under proxy pass, you'll want to include the domain endpoint, which you can get from the general information section of your domain in the AWS console. Now we can write to this file and quit out of Vim. And before we can access open search dashboards again, we'll need to make some changes to the security group of the Nginx server. So going back into the AWS console and into security groups, 
I'll click on the Nginx server security group and change the inbound role I configured earlier. This role here, which allowed HTTP from my IP address, now needs to be HTTPS because fine grained access control on OpenSearch requires an HTTPS connection. Now I can save these roles and I'll go back into my SSH session and restart the Nginx server with a command. Now I'll go back to the tab where I have the Elastic IP of the Nginx server open, refresh this, and now I can click on Advanced and proceed to OpenSearch dashboards. And you'll see that we'll be greeted with a login page where we can use the master user that we configured earlier to log into OpenSearch dashboards. So in this video, I showed you how you can access OpenSearch dashboards on a domain that is located within a private VPC with and without fine grained access controls enabled. Check out the description of this video for all of the documentation and references related to it and continue exploring this YouTube channel around Amazon OpenSearch service. I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.